Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. We'll be checking in with my partner Andrew Taws in just a few minutes. Now we cover a lot of outdoor contests here on the show, and recently we were invited to one where the competition starts at ground level, and dirt is a four-letter word. Our stories often take us to some beautiful locations, and this morning we find ourselves on the banks of the Chester River near Chestertown, Maryland, for a competition where it pays to play dirty. So this is the Northeast Regional uh, Collegiate Soils Contest. Uh, this is one of seven regional contests that are held around the country in the fall, and the students have to identify the different soil horizons that are there, then they describe the various properties, color, texture, structure, consistence, and these things. They put that together and they classify the soil using the USDA soil classification system and then they make assessments or evaluations about its suitability or usefulness for different kinds of applications. There are 16 teams from 10 different universities here at this location that's held secret until the morning of the contest. Even cell phones are confiscated. The pits are dug beforehand and each team will take soil samples from different depths and analyze them. So why the big deal over a little dirt? Dirt is a four-letter word. That's, that's soil when you track it in on the carpet. So soil is a resource, uh, like our water resources and our air resources, and we want to be able to know what they are and manage them properly. And so uh, soil scientists are called on to help delineate and identify uh, and map out different kinds of soils. They are called in for when they're doing on-site evaluations. You want to use this for a housing development or put a road in here, use on-site waste disposal. Uh, you need a soil scientist in there to help evaluate that. And so the skills that these students develop with these kinds of practice and exercises uh, gives them those kind of skills because you're not going to get them in a book. So instead of a book, you'll notice that these students each carry a handy field kit that has some pretty cool stuff in it. Of course, this is the most indispensable of them is your soils knife. So everybody's got one of these. It's really more of a shovel. It's not, it's not sharp. You'll go and use your bucket as a seat. The globe color book describes the, val the value, chroma, and colors of the soil. So we get some pretty crazy stuff sometimes. We have the spray bottle. Uh, to get accurate colors. Muffin tins are for collecting uh, about a handful of sample from each one of the horizons that we're going to see. We've got our sieve. This will be for calculating uh, coarse fragment percentage, so gravels or pebbles and things. Rock hammer, indispensable in some of these really dry, silty areas. And then lastly, the clinometer, which is a cool um, a tool for estimating the slope of a landform. Okay, so this is Maryland A team. This is your scorecard here. Since each team has less than an hour to complete their scorecards, the Maryland team, who are the defending national champions, wastes no time in getting down and dirty. Can you grab another rock hammer? In the 60-year history of the event, the Terps have won five national championships and a staggering 25 regionals. And you can tell by their tight teamwork that they mean business. And what you can learn from soil analysis is nothing short of amazing. It tells you a lot of the geological morphological history, so it'll tell you a uh, thousand years ago there's a flood here, or you know this used to be underwater. It's this place where life goes on in the upper part of the, this sort of thin skin of the earth. Pretty much it gives you a, an idea of anything, of where you are, the landscape, the plants, just kind of like an encompassing idea of the land around you. And there's all kinds of important things that go on in terms of supporting plant growth, providing water quality, water treatment, storing carbon. Basically everything we eat, drink, or wear probably comes from the soil. You can learn everything about an area, where you should build a house, you know, where you should farm from digging a hole in the ground. It's pretty great. Another great aspect of soil analysis is that it can lead to a lucrative career. Some of these students are going to work for the USDA, NRCS, Maryland Department of Agriculture. Others are going to go into the private field working with environmental consulting firms, in some cases agricultural consulting firms. And so there's a, a lot of jobs. Most of our students don't have too much trouble getting jobs. But work will come later. Today is all about fun. Almost every year that I coach, I have students that tell me this was the best this part of my college experience. It's a fun thing, but it's also an incredibly valuable learning experience. 
And in the end, the Maryland team would go on to win yet another regional championship. So they'll be competing in the Nationals next spring in Ohio. We think they'll do well as long as they dig down deep and... Get outdoors, Delmarva!